Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this dip powder manicure using gel liquids instead of dip liquids. So let's get right into the video. So for this manicure, I'm going to be using this Revel Dip Powder shade and it is the 2019 Black Friday freebie color. So it is no longer available, but I will do my best to link below a dupe in case you are interested in finding a color just like this one. So now getting into the actual products that I used, I'm going to be using gel liquids instead of dip liquids like I mentioned before. And the main reason for this is because I've gotten a few requests to show you guys my method. And I have a video posted a while back on my channel doing this method. But I thought I would show an updated version just in case you don't want to scroll all the way back on my channel. And also because I have changed up the method a little bit. So for this particular manicure, I'm going to be using my Mono Ones gel products. And the method I use for this is I apply a thin layer of the gel polish base to my nail. Then I take a metal cuticle pusher and sprinkle the powder over top. Now you don't necessarily have to sprinkle the powder over the nail, I just prefer to do so because I find that when you dip your finger into the dip powder, it can sometimes squish down the gel base since it doesn't dry unless you cure it. So I just find that this is the best method to get an even application. And after I do each nail individually, I cure the nail for about 5 seconds in an LED lamp and that just makes sure it is a little bit cured so it doesn't run or spread on the nail while I move on to my other nails. So I'm going to finish up that process for the first coat of dip powder. And some of the pros that I like about this method is that the dip powder dries immediately once you cure it so you don't have to worry about activating or anything like that. And also, this method allows you to work with the dip powder as long as you need to and then cure it. So when you're working with the dip liquids, you have an allotted amount of time that you can work with the product before it dries. And this is totally different with this method, you have as much time as you need and then once you are happy you just cure and your nails are all dried. And I honestly don't really have a negative for this method. I would maybe say that these are slightly less durable, however they are very strong and sturdy maybe just a little bit more flexible, but overall I think both methods are really great. And one of the main reasons that you might use this method is because you either have the dip flu, which is sort of an allergy or a sensitivity to the dip liquids, or you just want a little bit more time to work. Personally, I prefer the dip liquids just because that is what I've been accustomed to, but this method does work really great and I thought I would show you guys in case you are interested. So I'm just going to be finishing up the first coat of dip powder and in total I did three layers of color and then one coat of clear. And after I have all five nails done, I'm going to cure for a full minute just to make sure that the gel is completely dry. And you do want to cure for a little bit longer when doing this method just because the dip powder can change up the formula of the gel polish a little bit, so you want to make sure that it is fully dried before going in with the next layer. And here I'm doing my second coat, so I'm going to let you guys sit back and watch me do the second and third coats of color dip powder, and then I will be back for the clear encapsulation.
right so after the second coat I went ahead and cured and I quickly wanted to mention that I sped up the third coat just because it did take me a little bit longer to do this method because I was working more with the gel polish but one thing that I wanted to say is that you definitely don't have to do three coats of color and one coat of clear. That is personally what I did because first of all I wanted the color to be completely opaque but also I found that when working with the gel liquids the nails came out a little bit thinner than I am used to with the dip liquids and I prefer my dip nails to be a certain thickness to protect my nails and be durable. So that is one thing that I quickly wanted to say, so in case you are new to dip nails and you want to do this, you can totally work with how you prefer your thickness and change up this method based on how you prefer your nails. And once I have done the third and final coat of dip powder, I'm going to cure one more time, brush off any excess powder, and here I am showing you the thickness of the nails. So they aren't super thick, but they are thick enough to be durable and protect my natural nails underneath. So now I'm going to be taking my Azure Beauty Transparent Powder, and I'm going to clean off my metal cuticle pusher just so I don't contaminate the clear, and I'm going to do a layer of clear encapsulation. And if you watch my videos, you know that I always clear encapsulate my dip powder nails, and this is because I want to protect the color underneath from filing, and make sure I don't file away any of the beautiful color. So this is going to act as a barrier layer when filing so that we don't take off any of the pigment, we only smooth down the clear layer that we added on top. So this is the same method that I did for the three layers of color, and I'm going to let you guys watch me finish up the clear encapsulation and then I will come back. And once all of the nails are coated in clear, I'm going to go ahead and cure for another full minute. And here is the thickness of the nails with the clear, so you can see that there isn't really much of a difference since clear is very fine. And now I'm going to shape and file my nails to make sure that they are nice and smooth and perfect. So I'm going to buff over the surface, and the dip powder with gel buffs just like it would with the dip powder liquids, and it was super easy to file and shape. Here you can see the beautiful structure of the dip powder application. So once the nails are all filed, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Model 1's gel top coat. And this is going to add a beautiful shine to all of the nails and really bring out the color underneath. So I'm going to apply a thin layer of this to all of my nails, cap the free edge to make sure that my nails last as long as possible, and then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And here are the nails after curing. I want to note that these dip nails last about as long as they would with the dip liquids, so if that is something you are concerned about, you definitely don't need to be. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.